Hello everybody. I'm doing this as uh, I want to cut this scene in before I go into the main video. This is I'm recording this after I recorded that video, which was a little table talk video. And the only reason why I want to add this scene is because I was speaking with the princess and I told her, I said, hey, I made a video about so-and-so subject, which you're about to hear about in a second, or I'll probably end up putting it in the title. And she agrees with me. She thinks it's dumb. So at least that's the opinion of an actual active student, somebody who is actively going to the, a public school. They think it's a dumb idea. But then I also asked her how she would feel about, you know, the other type of book bag, which I'm going to mention in the video. She said she didn't like those either. So anyways, just the fact that I said that word already gave it away. But anyways, thank you. Have a good day. And once again, the star of the show. Good morning, everybody. Today's uh, the 9th of May, I think. And it's Tuesday. I wanted to talk about, well, obviously I never had anything to talk about, but I do have one thing I want to mention today. Was, uh, I think last week or the week before, the, we got advised by the school board that starting next school year, which starts on the 21st of August, all students are required to wear clear backpacks, like see-through, and they can't even be like mesh, like, you know, style that you can still see through it, but they literally have to be like clear backpacks. I mean, like, WTF, what are, they're just, what are they, they don't want to install uh, metal detectors, and I don't know, I just think it's, it's like, in my, in my opinion, it's the dumbest thing I've heard of because most of the time when there's school shootings, it's just people that sneak into the schools with assault rifles anyway. So nobody really, I mean, you do hear cases of people bringing handguns to school because we just got so many, we got so many guns that I get so tired of watching the news. I don't know how dad watches it so much, especially when, you know, just to draw our attention, they talk as much as they can about negative things that happen. I think the most recent one was a Texas shooting or a massacre, or as they call it. And it's just, I don't know. I remember after the, what was it? The infamous Nicholas Cruz incident on Nicholas Cruz day, which is February 14th. I was like afraid, like I want my daughter to stay home from school. I didn't want her to go to school. But that happened what? Uh, when we were 2023, that happened five years ago. Approximately five years and and three months ago, soon. Yeah, it was uh, that was a pretty bad one. There were like 17 people total, I think, and uh. Three were staff, the rest were students, something like that, give, that give, give or take. I mean, I I don't know what to say about it. I'm not an expert. I just, you know, watch what I see, just like the rest of you. And I just, I, don't, I feel like gun ownership, yeah, should be a right, but maybe there should be like more rigorous like not just like background exams but because I mean yeah background exams whatever you know cooling off periods whatever and but um they should like properly like you should take classes so that you know exactly what it is that you're buying because it, that's a toy that's a very dangerous toy and you know you have you can't just like leave it laying around you know it's, it's almost like cigarettes you can't leave the cigarettes laying around you know especially if you have children in the house and even without children in the house you have people that may have never smoked a cigarette in their life you still don't want to leave it around it's just like leaving some tape one thing i believe is if if need not be do not leave temptation for others to be like you know if, if necessary i know it's kind of kind of confusing but in other words like don't like uh 
just don't do anything that would cause somebody to, to, to think, just to have the thought of, of committing something wrong, you know? Like, try your best to, like, just not do that because we're all humans. And even those who do, do their best not to act on their sins, they still have thoughts. We still have thoughts. I mean, I, you know, I'm faithful, and but I have to catch myself if I had to start having lustful thoughts because that's where it all begins from the mind from your, from what you're thinking just like allegedly blinking was quoted saying you are what you think so, something like that I don't know exactly so I denounce this new policy I think it's ridiculous I'm gonna see if I can talk Mariah into carrying like like a little a rolling bag and wait to see what they say that essentially is nothing except like uh like her books and for her pencils i guess a little a clear like a little clear through pouch because you could kill somebody with a pencil at least according to the dark knight <laughs> when the joker killed that goon he's like oh let me show you guys a magic trick and stabs a pencil on the on the table I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. Boom! I mean, obviously that's you know art, and but life imitates art, and and, and so forth. Art imitates life, and life imitates art. Whatever. So, is it gonna be effective? No, it's not gonna be effective because if you, I think. If you look at the statistics, the majority of these mass shooters, or whatever you want to call them, most of them weren't even attending school that day. They just came from like off campus. And usually most uh, schools, at least here in the uh, Broward County School Board, they're very good at, you know, once they close the school down, they seal the doors. Another thing they started doing was starting to hire armed officers. I mean, how is that supposed to make our children feel safe? Seeing people running around with guns around them. Armed security guards, sorry. It's gotten to the point where, I don't know. I, I really have no comment on the matter because I'm not a professional in anything. I'm just somebody that sits here and talks in front of an iPhone 13 mini instead of a nice iPhone 9 yellow. <laughs> and, um, but either way, I don't care because the iPhone 9, they didn't come out with the mini version yet. I don't like big bulky phones. But I do still want to get it because I promised the princess this Dirk mini when she graduated. But uh, when she graduated, um, what is it called? Elementary. But if I have the 9, then I can give her the option. I can say, you want the 9 or you want the mini? Because to me, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's, it's all the same. And I got two other iPhones that I can essentially can get, get fixed. They're both in working order. I think one is a second generation SE, and the other one is a first generation SE. The first generation SE was the first phone I ever bought her. Um, I think I was doing better at that time. I had more work, and they had this promotion, so I took advantage of it. I had I had gotten two. I got rose gold, and I got a like a black one and silver, whatever. And I wanted the rose gold for myself, but the sales lady thought, took it the other way. She thought that the rose gold was for my daughter. <laughs> I'm like, and she ended up going to her anyways, which I'm kind of glad because she took better care of it than I took care of mine. I always break phones. I'm surprised I haven't broken this one yet. It's gonna be almost a year since I've had it. It's coming up soon. And usually phones last me between like six to eight months until I break them. I do need to buy a new cover for it though. cover I have is like a clear white plastic but I guess from the UV light from the sun and the exposure to the elements it's starting to like fade and turn colors but you can still tell that it's like the green phone that's why I want the yellow because it's exclusive to the 14 series but and I like the color yellow um, so yeah transparent book bags dumb idea 
I just don't think it's, I think it's just another way to just take that money out of our pockets, you know, boost numbers up in the economy just a little bit so that people that been wearing their same book bags year after year can get new ones, which most kids do anyways. For some reason, they, they want to re change their backpacks. My daughter has a beautiful pink Adidas backpack. And I told her, once you're done with that book bag, I want it. But she ended up keeping it, which was good because then the one that she got afterwards, um, the zipper went on it. It wasn't as high as quality, but it had like, you know, the anime that she enjoys. I think it's uh, Demon Slayer at that time. I don't know what she's into now. And, um, but it wasn't of high quality. It was, you know, like, a, you know, a no, no brand Chinese book bag. So the zipper went on one side, then it went on the other side. I try, I, I could essentially, it's something that's not, it's fixable, but you have to kind of get used to it. And I guess she either didn't want to know how to get used to it or she just gave up on it. So we went ahead and we washed her old Adidas pink one, the really nice one that I like. And the other ones that I like, I still have my day pack, my uh, Jansport black day pack with the leather bottom, the vintage one made in the USA, which it could be a fake, but I don't think so. I saw it, it has, still has the, the in, on the inside, they have a, a tag that shows the instructions and stuff. It still has that, so, but pe they, they know that people like vintage stuff, so you could just, you could just imagine in China, they have shops for everything. So whatever you, you can think of or imagine of, they're gonna have knockoff versions of it. But actually my black day bag, I think I, I lost it. So I started using my, I have a vintage, all my all my Jansports are vintage. The other one I have is like a, it's like a, like a Native American style backpack because of like the colorings on it. And it's like a day pack, but on the top, it has a thing that folds over and then it has like a thing, like a hooded zipper. And it also has a zipper. I mean, it, not a zipper, but like a string tie to close it. And it also has a zipper on the side. So it has like two ways to open it. That's the one I've been using lately. And, um, oh, this I must show. My lovely neighbor, her name is Michelle. She's the coolest person. I see her all the time. She is, seems she's, she's a hard worker. She's a very strong person. She's my age, actually. I asked her how young she was. She's 40, just like me. And she gifted me this. I asked her if she'd be willing to sell it because I've seen that she's been cleaning up a lot. You know, the last couple of bulk, bulk pickups, she, she had thrown some stuff out. Uh, her father passed away lately. You know, may he rest in peace. Um, but she just gifted me this yesterday. This thing is a beaut. It's a Huffy. It's not the same make as the one that uh, I bought the other day from Rob. Let me see. Even the saddle, look how nice the saddle is. It, I don't know if it's fall leather or real leather. It has the Huffy emblem on it. The bike rack thing, I didn't realize it. It has a little extent. It, it has a little bit of rust, but look, it has a little extension thing, I believe. So that you can pull this out. I don't, I haven't even tried this. I'm doing this for the first time. Let's see if it works. Or maybe not. Uh, or maybe it's just stuck. Okay, whatever. The only thing I gotta do is the fender in the back was off. I kind of put it back on, but as you can see, I gotta tighten that up. And I gotta find a screw that will fit right through there. There's supposed to be a screw there too. So I gotta find like a screw in a nut that would fit that size. And then the back fender is ready to go. The tires, believe it or not, they were out of air when she gave them to me. So I said, let me just pump them up. And look at that, they're holding good. Look And look at the look at the grip on the tires, just look at that. I think it's like, it's beautiful. Oh, that's the name, that's the brand name. It's called uh, Nassau. I guess like the island, that's one of the British Virgin Islands, uh, made in China. Yep, just like 90% of all bikes. And I believe Huffy is owned by Pacific. Pacific, the, even the cup holder. Look how it's, le uh, I don't know if it's leather or, fo or fall leather, but it's in perfect condition. It's in better condition than one that I was gifted. Bought from Rob, sorry. There's a little bit of garbage here, let's take that out. 
And yeah, so the only problem with this, it's not Dutch style. So the bar comes up a little bit higher, which is fine. I could use it for myself. And then the other one that I got, that one uh, mom can use. And now we just gotta get one for the princess. And then maybe one day we can all go riding bike as a family. All right, I'll end the video on that note because that was that thought just made me happy. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, may peace and love be with every one of you. And I ask you, please, to please be kind to one another. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mwah. Love you guys. Let's look at our, the star of the show.